how would you define luxury? Your purchase of our rhinestones has put extravagance right at your fingertips. Here at the Baby's Booty, we are taking the standard of luxury and bringing it directly to you. Introducing the perfect companion to your Lux rhinestones, the Baby's Booty Ice Boxes. Our ice boxes are in the perfect sizes to complement your order. Each color in your purchase will be labeled and packaged in these elegant acrylic boxes ready to display your luxury stones for everyone to see. The Baby's Booty Ice Box, where our bling is the finer thing. Well, hey, Blingy family. How are y'all doing this evening? I'm Eve with The Baby's Booty, and we are coming tonight with more bling. But this time, it's an exclusive design that because of me taking the advanced bling up class with Miss Patrice, I learned how to make the design and I made a design that will be exclusively on Cricut Design Space. Now, I don't know how long it's going to be there, y'all, because it's not for sale. It's not for sale. It's just available on Cricut Design Space. Um, and it is the Cricut. Now, earlier in Patrice's chat, I was seeing the Cricut bug and Delonda corrected me and told me it is the Cricut cutie. So I made the little Cricut cutie bug so that if you are on Cricut Design Space and you want to try out cutting a rhinestone template, the link is in the description. Hopefully you can get to it. I hope I did it right because I've never uploaded anything and put anything on Cricut Design Space for other people to get. So somebody try it out. Let me know if it works. But it's not for sale. It's just you go in there and get it. And because you're on Cricut Design Space, you ought to be able to bling out a cutie. Now, Cricut may have something a little bit different to say about that. I don't know, but I did make one. Uh, but here he is right here. This one is Peridot on the inside. And his little outline is emerald. His little eyeballs are neon white. And the pupils are jet black on a black tote bag. And there was this one. This one is neon green, neon green outline. And then his little eyeballs are actually um, white opal. And then his little irises or pupils are uh, jet hematite because I thought the jet hematite would stand out a little bit better against that black background as opposed to this bag where the little pupils are still there. They still bling and you can still see them but the jet black makes them a little bit harder to see. All right, so that's out there. So if you want to join along with me on this project, like I said, it's on Cricut Design Space. And y'all know we take a while in the beginning to say hi, get all the information out that needs to be given. Um, so you have time to start it up and cut it out if you want to cut out a cutie and join in with me. All right, so now that we got that out of the way, that's pretty much what we're going to work on because some people have issues cutting out designs on Cricut. So I, I kind of wanted to make it as easy as possible by putting it on Cricut. So all you got to do on Cricut, access it, hopefully, and then you'll be able to do the uh, cutout on some rhinestone flock. All right. So y'all, the buy-in is open. OMG. I don't know if you knew that, but it is. So the buy-in went live at midnight last night. There are some really neat pictures on there. I personally am quite impressed myself, even though I had nothing to do with them. <laughs> I didn't take them. My son-in-law did. So if you love the pictures, throw a red heart in the chat for them so that he can watch this. I don't know. His Sometimes his, he and my daughter watch um, sometimes when I'm live and sometimes they don't. But in case they do, show the appreciation if you saw the pictures and you love it. It is not set to private. Um, I said to make it public. Yeah, see, it said it's got a green thingy that says make public in design space. So did the link not work? I don't know. Let's see. Let's go make it. I, no, I don't have to hit make it, do I? To make it go public. It, I thought I just flipped the little switch and it worked. 
what name did I use for the project? Okay, let me show y'all what all of that is. Hold on, let's share screen so that you can see. And I did put the link in the description. I don't know if it's the right one or not, but you know, y'all know how I'm I'm learning. I'm learning this stuff. But it's right here. It's the Cricut Cutie Rhinestone Template. And it's under my name, not under the baby's booty. So if you can, I don't know if you'll be able to find it or not, but it's the Cricut Cutie Rhinestone Template. And he's he's one template. Let's customize so that you guys can see it. It is three parts, but there is a fourth part that you're going to hide before sending it to cut. Um, and it's got some instructions on there. If you cut it for rhinestone flock, don't resize it. If the template works with SSTR and size rhinestones, you can cut this out with holographic vinyl. If you use holographic vinyl, it will look like rhinestones and you can resize the template with holographic vinyl. And I probably should have put in there, make sure you mirror if you're using holographic vinyl. But I did put to mirror it in the description of the project itself. Why do I have this thing? Oh, see, some people like it. Yay. So some, some folks found it. So cool. That works really well. So yeah, just grab it. Go ahead and play with it. I don't, I didn't block it or nothing. There's no charge for it. Um, I mean, after all, it is a Cricut cutie and it's on Cricut. So why not? You know? So at any rate, that is the Cricut cutie. So I've already cut him out. Um, I did have a problem myself with cutting it out, but that's only because my Bluetooth connection was interrupted and it messed up his outline and I had to cut that again, but it cut perfectly fine after I reset the computer. Um, so we have um, the outline is one color, the eye, uh, the outline and the inside of his eyes is one color. It tells you the images are not licensed for your country. Yeah, I don't know. It might be. They might block it. I don't know. So if you can get it, you better get it now. That's all I'm going to say because we don't know how long it's going to be up there. They may take it down. I'm not charging for it. So, you know, but they may not want me giving away their stuff either. So I don't know. I was going to ask and I don't know who to ask or how to ask. So if somebody knows how to ask that we can let that be for them, you know, they're more than welcome to have it and leave it on Cricket Design Spaces and I could care less. But at any rate, so you guys, uh, that is available. Cricket does have some rhinestone um, do flotchies. Let's go. I think it was under projects. Uh, let's search projects and I'm going to put rhinestone. It says no results found. Let's say I could have swore I put in rhinestone. They did have some. Um, what was it up under? I don't think it was under bling. So that pulls up up under bling, but that's definitely not bling. So I don't know. Maybe they don't took it out. Maybe they took it out. But see that cricket cutie can be under free. I don't. I don't. I'm not charging for it. So why couldn't it be? Oh, you know what? I think that's cricket access free. I guess I don't know. But they they can do whatever they want with it. Make it free. I don't care because it's it's not for me. Um. But at any rate, I don't know, my dear. They did have some rhinestone stuff on here. It was um, a little, just a smidge difficult to use, but you could use, like, you didn't know what size. Yeah, so they done, they done snatched it, y'all. I was trying to let y'all have something, but I can understand. I didn't ask, and I should have asked, and I know better. I do know better, but... I was going to take a chance on it anyway because I did finish it and it was for Cricut. I, I'm not trying to make no money off of it and I'm not going to sell it and uh, I'm not going to make it available because I put it on Cricut. So I'm sorry if you weren't able to get a hold to it, but it was on there. So at any rate, push come to show, we'll still um, give away these two bags because they're already made and we'll get around to doing a template anyways. So where is my, there you are. B, to be young and gifted black. Thank you so very much. Yas, honey. Yas, which is crazy because I don't see a pay me no attention. Maybe I should have named it something else. How all these other people be getting away with crap on Etsy all the time. You know what I'm saying? Okay, let's stop screen sharing. So Inspiration Creations, Lori from Canada is saying hi, Baby Giant Services. LLC. Hello. How are you? So crafty. Welcome and thank you for being a YouTube Who group member. Just Paper Crafting. Laura Siavaco. Hello. Shirley Dabney. Hi, honey. Welcome. Thank you for joining us and for being a YouTube Who group member. 
Sherelle Green, welcome. Miss 143, welcome. And thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. Kirsten, welcome. Thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. EJ's daughter, thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. Anita Ulmer, thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. Bonita Neely, hello. T Designs by D, hello. Angel B, hey, honey, welcome. Tamika Cole, hello. Nini, welcome. Thank you for joining us. Lila Nelson, thank you for joining us and for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. D Smith, thank you for joining us and for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. We also have Miss JB, who is a YouTube Hoop Group member as well in the house. Be Creatively by Kim, welcome. Make It With Marilyn, welcome. And thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. Sheila Cushenberry, thank you as well for being a valuable comment answering YouTube Hoop Group member. We appreciate it. <laughs> uh, Sassy Queen, hey, honey, welcome. And I hope everything's going better for you. Andrea T, thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. I appreciate it. Hey, AJ Harris, dinner is done. Sweet. <laughs> Dimps, hey, honey, welcome. And is, uh, did they let my people go? I would love to know. Paula D, hello, fabulous is. 32, welcome. And thank you for joining us this evening. Kingsbury Crafts, hello. Michelle Anderson, hello, welcome. Miss Bickham, thank you for joining us and for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. Welcome. Gail Moore, hello, welcome. Marsha, welcome. Thank you for joining us. Hey. Patrice, welcome, and thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. Shonda Coleman, hello, welcome. Thank you for joining us. And yes, you are early, early tonight. <laughs> Belinda West O'Neill, thank you. I appreciate you taking the session. For those of you who did join the um, Crafting for Profit camp, I'm glad you had a really good time. It was a success as far as um, them saying most of the folks took the classes, they were excited about it. Great feedback was received. So thank you all for joining. And I hope you learned a lot. In the Facebook group, a lot of folks did mention that they learned a lot on in many of the different classes. And they even pointed out some of the information that they thoroughly enjoyed to help them on their journey to own a business. Um, so and gave them a lot to think about. So I'm very tickled for those who were able to participate and enjoy the camp. So it was fun. I enjoyed being a part of it. And we even had some extra goodies to go along with it. So hopefully you guys were able to take a part of that as well. Sharon Davenport, thank you for joining us and thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. What are you doing? Y'all might have to put a dog out because she over here tripping and then she tripping on camera. Diana Henderson, hello, welcome. Regina Cartwright, welcome. Angela Daniel, welcome. Ashita Solomon, welcome. Thank you for joining us. Angela Marie, thank you for joining us and for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. EJ's daughter, thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. And Lakeisha Monique, welcome. Thank you for joining us. And congratulations on selling your first rhinestone template. Rhonda Dudley, hello, welcome. Thank you for joining us. Lucille Boykins, welcome to Be Gifted Young and Black. Again, thank you for the super chat and for being in here with us. T Create, hello. Leticia Mathis, hello, and thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. We got Sonya Siegler in here, who is a YouTube Hoop Group member as well. Let's scroll down. Regis Design, Regina Snow, welcome. Both of you, thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. Um, let's see. Let's see. Thank y'all. I just, I just really wish they would have let it go. Um, Renee Boyd says, <laughs> you guys were too funny the other night. Y'all look, I don't know if you guys subscribe to Patrice's channel or not. Craftable things. If you do not subscribe to craftable things, I'm suggesting that you do because you definitely will miss out on some things if you don't, okay? You know what? Hold on, y'all. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Get out. Get out, get out, get out, get out. All right. Crazy dog. All right. Sorry about that. So at any rate, we had a ball over there on Patricia's channel, um, and we had a surprise, awesome surprise guest. So if you did not see the show, let's see, this was Friday night. Right? And I think, yeah, Friday night. If you did not see that show Friday night, shame on you. That's all I can say because it was a whole fool. We had a ball. It was awesome sauce. 
So, and we were up rather late though. So we was up till one, I think, the show. It was a six hour live and it was well worth it all the way to the very end. So definitely check that out. Um, let us see. I'm gonna have to scroll down. Hopefully, I did not um make miss anything super significant. If I was, definitely um send me a message again. And Mr. McQuackens will uh, alert me to it. So at any rate, going back to our projects. No, no, the buy-in. OMG, let's go back to the buy-in. Okay, so the buy-in is up. The buy-in is active. It will end on February the 4th. 5th, on the 5th, Lord Jesus. The dog done distracted me. And she out the door and I don't even know what she <laughs> At any rate. It's going to end on the 5th, next Sunday, in other words. So it's going to run Sunday to Sunday. The buy now, what I ended up having to do was I had to turn off the buy now portion because you, it, some a couple of folks were trying to combine the buy in and the buy now, and that's just not going to work because you the buy now, I don't want you to have to wait until it's time to ship the buy in when that's the whole purpose of the buy now is to ship it right away. But at the same time, if I ship the buy now right away, the buy in, I'm there's no way to pay shipping for both. You see what I'm saying? So I was like, you know what? Let's just turn off the buy in until we can figure that part out, um, which I may have a solution for that here shortly. And if I do, then we'll turn the buy by now back on but the buy in is definitely on and popping and ready to rock and roll with some super cute new pictures up there with um motion graphic up there so that you can see the glisten y'all i was so excited when he when we figured out how to do that um so hopefully that will we're going to do that with all of the colors and hopefully that'll give a more realistic look at what those rhinestones look like so that you can make an informed decision about the colors that you want and how they actually look on the white fabric and the black fabric. Okay. So that was the point. All right. And so um, at any rate, that was that. I bought in at 304. Didn't want to miss it. Oh, Regina, like I said, it was going to last till next Sunday. But thank you for the early because we do go ahead and, and start calculating the things that we need to grab from our manufacturer. Uh, ahead of time so that's that I'm trying to think it was something else i was supposed to tell you hopefully mr mcquackens will let me know what that is uh before we finish up so let me see did they actually do something with this thing they might have removed it from me y'all i don't even know i hate that i was trying to do something super cool uh, let's see and hopefully I'll be making more templates and making some available on here, some of the free ones that I'm not selling. And then you guys can um, enjoy those. It still says for me that it's public, but they might have blocked it some kind of which way. How does the buy-in work? Beth, beautiful monster. It works like this. Um, you go onto the website, you purchase the rhinestones that you want. All of them are in wholesale quantities. So once you purchase the amounts and the colors and the sizes that you want, you place your order. And I collect all of the orders at the end of the buy-in on next Sunday. And then I submit the order for those. And then we wait for the orders to come back. And it generally takes me about 30 days to receive all of the orders back repackage them in their ice boxes and send them out to you. So you should be receiving your orders right at 30 days later. Every blue moon, they may be a couple of days sooner than that. But in most instances, I say 30 days because we do have to go through customs and customs is pretty rigorous uh, with our packages. So um, that's, that's how it works. There's no fee to get in. There's no secret club, secret handshake, none of that mess. We just we want to help supply um, those who are trying to do rhinestones in their businesses um, and make a business out of this and, and help it, their bottom line, help increase their profit margin was the whole reason that this was created. And so we definitely want to uh, make sure that you guys can get 
great high quality rhinestones at a great wholesale price that's the point all right so let us oh uh, what did women and i saw a question kelly asked make it available it, it says it's available to me so i don't know you know i can't make it any more available than what i see it is so i don't know about that um yes it is the Cricut Ransom Cutie is there, but because you uploaded it to Design Space only, you can make it or customize it. Right? Are you talking about where Renee? I didn't know if you were telling me that or not. Colon slash slash. All right, that's the Beth. That's the link to the buy-in. So definitely click there and give us a checkout. Let us know how you like your pictures. All right, so let's switch this over to the table. I'm not, I don't think I'm going to do the cutie. I wanted to do the cutie so bad. Design Space has been acting up this week and isn't opening. I am sorry to hear that because we do love Design Space. Let's add a camera, actually. Nope, we don't want to do that. Sorry, y'all. Let me see. Share some extra camera. That's what I thought I did. Okay. There we go. Yay. Okay. So we are going to come over to the cutting table while I, at the same time, look for my crazy dog who is MIA right now. crazy thing standing over there in the rain i don't understand jesus i just don't and if you had a hip had me get my hair wet and i don't pay to get this stuff straight man you would have fell out come on here all right so we have a couple of projects we can do and what i'll do tonight is um we'll talk about trying to get um Cricut Design Space to cooperate. But for those of you who have the template, I will show you. Here it is. This looks weird because his eyeballs are down here. But this is how it will cut out. It will cut out the inside of him. Here's his eyeballs. And then there is his outline with his pupils. So you can, it's saying this project cannot be made or customized. It can be made either. Well, I knew it probably wouldn't let you customize it. I do have it in an SVG, but I wasn't, I did because it's a, it's a, you know, little, one of their little mascots. I did not want to make this available outside of Cricut. So it needed to be on Cricut. So I'm not going to, um, I'm not going to do that outside of Cricut. Um, chrysolite and oh man, that sucks. Uh, what did I just see? How often do HTV supply flop? I don't know that question, unfortunately. Um, what is it? What I saw a question. Oh, chrysolite and peridot side by side. That's the question I saw. Um, so this is peridot and this is chrysolite. They're very similar, but the, the tone of green, this is not crystal white. Hold on. My bad. That ain't crystal white. That is actually um, green opal. What are you? You are green opal as well. So hold on. Let me get crystal white. I may have to go in yonder and get it because that one was a separate color chip and I don't have all we took I took all of my color samples and put them back here in the in the workroom let me grab them hopefully y'all can still hear me I don't know but I'm gonna go back here and grab them
All right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I actually found the little tray that we used in the pictures. So here is chrysolite. And as you see, as I was sitting it down, the level of bussing is awesome sauce. There we go. Let's move you. And I've been making cards. I still have more cards I need to make so that I can replace the fabric instead of having them on cards. But all in due time. All right. So here is crystal light. Let me see if I can't get some um, green opal to show up for you. I mean, not green opal. Here it is. The thing with cricket just done messed me up, which I knew I I knew before I was pulling with it. All right, so as you see, it's um pretty different. This is peridot, and this is chrysolite. And as you see with the um peridot, it has it has more green. Whereas the chrysolite is just a pale, pale green. It's a pale, 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 pale green. Look at that. Look at that, y'all. OMG. So this is why we changed how the pictures were and added some pictures of it moving. Look, look, look. look come, uh, some, come look at this. Come look at this. So there are, Mr. McCorkins, I think he counted like nine new colors. Give me a sec and we'll lay them out right here because rose gold is one. Pink opal is another. Violet volcano is another. You're welcome, Nicole. Let's see. I should have, okay. So here's blue opal is one. White opal is another. Uh, hang on, I brought them all as one. So give me a sec. Let's see. Got green opal? No, we do not. This is green opal. So that, as you can see, that's still on the fabric. I hadn't taken that one off the fabric yet. Then there's chrysolite. They look real similar right here far away, but once you get close up to that, you see the opals have like a cloudy look to them because of that opal mother of pearl type look so they're not like super clear what color do i have on my shirt um on my shirt is uh gold orange av topaz and it was outlined with jet hematite and when i get back to the uh desk i can show you better this one is icicles so we're at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then there's blue steel. I need to find, and hopefully I didn't leave that one in there because he had to take pictures of that as well. I'm trying to make sure I don't, because blue steel is uh, a dark, dark, here it is, dark blue. And blue steel. So there is blue steel. So those are the new colors. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine colors. And where he is, I just saw in my hand. Let's see. 
And I would go grab the blue steel in the little container. It's back yonder, so I'd have to go grab it. Uh, but this is Montana, and this is the blue steel. So the blues are different. They're not quite the same. Whoops. Good thing that wasn't no template. So, so, and the blue steel is like a metallic. So it has a, uh, this one is a crystal. So the stone is actually colored clear glass. So the, the navy blue is color is glass, but this is more, this is a metallic. So not only does it have blue on the side, but it also has like that hematite surface on the top of it to give it that, where is it at? Let me see. See how it's doing, reflecting that gold right there going across. That's the top of the stone with that gold. But if you look on the side, it's got that blue. So yeah, these are both of our darker blues. Do guys go for bling? I don't think my husband would like to wear that, but I may be wrong. Um, so the thing is, you know, different guys go for different things. My dad was like a hard no, hard pad, <laughs> you know, but at the same time, there's a lot of rappers now that are wearing rhinestones. Um, that's a thing with them for sure. Um, and some guys, like I know in certain parts of different areas cater to different things. So like in Texas, Texas, you go big or go home. So there's a lot of um, Texas uh, that wears rhinestones. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's pretty much up to the to the dude. AJ Harris, don't forget to write the name on them. Yeah, I have the name on most of them. It's just like this one. I didn't put the name on because I was rushing to get the picture of it. Can anyone else hear? Okay, yes, we can hear. Okay, cool. My son will do the black and black diamond. Candace BIC Designs says. And Tianda says, yes, men wear bling. So I mean a lot of it is up to the to the dude. Reminds me of gunmetal blue. Huh, that's a that's a good description of that for sure. But of course, Sheila Cushionberry has excellent descriptions for a lot of stuff. <laughs> so, but at any rate, these are the new colors um, that we have. And I actually can write that on there. Since I'm standing right here. Oh, but at any rate, and you asked about the shirt. What is that? Oh, that's the strings from the um I was like, no, I know I um didn't spill anything on my shirt. But at any rate, so this is um gold orange A B right here. And this is topaz, which is a gold, a clear gold color. And then the outline is jet hematite on my shirt. We made this on Patrice's live Friday night. So if if you missed it and you want to see this shirt being made, you definitely need to check that out cuz that was I'll never forget that live for the rest of my life. Until of course I'm in the nursing home and dealing with the old timers and stuff. Then I might not remember, but other than that, I'm going to remember that cuz that was awesome sauce. All right, y'all. So I'm going to put this up. If you have any other questions of uh, uh, questions, colors that I can dig out of this pile, I think I have all the colors over here. I'm not sure. I don't think I do because this pile looks real skinny, skinty, but I grabbed what I could see immediately to come out of there. All right. So I don't know. Dad bling done derailed my blinging train because now I don't want to bling the, the, the little little dude without anybody else being able to bling him, you know? They just that took the fun out of it. So we'll figure out something else to do. We can bling something else. Hold on. What did I do with the lid? Oh, it's right here. Because we gotta keep our stuff packaged. Capri, I can. I can't. Well, I should be able to anyways. I know that that's not on a card because I didn't get to make to put the blues on a card. Capri is really pretty. It reminds me of the ocean. Between Capri and Aquamarine, like here's Blue Zircon and here's Capri. 
So Capri and Blue Blue Zircon is is more of a I don't know, like a blue green almost. There we go. We can get a better view of the color. They're similar on camera, but in person, this one is a, a more greenish blue, and this one is a more of a I want to say teal, but that's not the right right word to say. So here's Capri. There's Blue Zircon. Where are you? Hold on. There it is. Here's Sapphire. You see the difference in the blues. Oh, you know what? I, from what I, I was told that the camera, my ca so I need to fix my screen over here that I can see in. It's not uh, as pretty. But this is blue zircon and this is green zircon. So this is more like eagles from what I understand. Blue, green, sorry, green. And then there's like sapphire, the other blue in the bunch. This is more Tar Heelish color. You just ordered Capri Angela said. Oh, that's what's up. Hey, Michelle C. Bling him anyway. Oh, I don't want to. It's not even fair. Um, Skywalker, what color is your best seller? I get that question all of the time. And honestly, from what I I think the best seller is Crushed Ice AB. Because I thought at one point Crystal would have been it hands down. Or maybe even Light Cyan. But it's not. It's, it's the, the Crushed Ice AB is like the... It's, I don't know. Everybody loves it. Well, most popular. I won't say best seller. It's the most popular. Because they're, they're all excellent stones. And they all... Folks love them all. But this... Crushed Ice AB, I have to, there's a lot of orders with the Crushed Ice AB. <laughs> I have so many colors, I can't remember what I have. What was the eagle color? Um, That was green zircon. It looks, to me, it looks like this would be the eagle's color. I'm not, I'm, but then again, I'm not a team person. So... Crushed Ice AB can be, be paired with any color stone and any color garment. That's true. It's more diamond-like. Can you show rainbow with crystal AB? Is it more of a turquoise? Eh, yeah, turquoise would be a good, a good. Here's rainbow. Do I have a crystal AB? I think I do. A citrine. I should have a crystal AB, anyways. And if not, well, we can bling it. But yeah, no, that kind of done took the fun out of blinging the little. That's crushed ice AB. Took the fun out of blinging the little dude. I don't want to bling him anymore. Is this crushed ice AB? I don't think it is. I think this is what's the face. Let's let's bling crushed ice AB. Not as well. I mean, not crushed ice AB. Crystal AB because I have um I need to do the other hearts anyway, and I'm not blinging the dude. So let's go with that. May not be as exciting, but at least it will be. A custom type of thing. Do I have aquamarine? I do. Around here somewhere. One thing's for certain. I know I got it right here in a chip. I mean, not a chip, a uh, dooflatchy. All right, y'all. So here's aquamarine, anyways. Oh. 
Yeah, that's true. Um, all right, you guys. So I think this is Crystal A B right here. I hope it ain't SS6. Let's see. Nope, this is it. And I should have enough. Can't wait. Kawana, I can't wait for you to get them, girl. We're gonna try our best this. We're going to act real nice and be dress up real pretty when we send our stuff through customs. And hopefully customs will be like, why? Wow, you're looking mighty fancy today. And I'm going to be like, I know. It's because I got a fancy package. Thank you. That's because I got a fancy package that I want to um squeeze through customs. Do you mind if I squeeze through, please? And he's going to be like, you know what? You're looking awfully fancy. We're going to squeeze you right on through it. I'm going to be like, bet. Thank you. You have a good day, sir, ma'am. And they're going to be like, okay. Um, I wish I could show you. Actually, I probably, I'd have to turn my phone on and stream yard on my phone. But my templates are over. They're standing up. And, um. Give me a sec to clean these up and I will show you in a way how I have them stored. Oh, and let's pick this up first too. Trying to bring cricket into the bling into the, the bling dimension, y'all. I was trying. All right, so let's get a score. Oh, that looks too small. Hold on. Let's get me a cardstock score. Um, Angela, you can do um our channel name. The join button should be in the description but the channel name slash join will bring up the join button so it's the baby's booty youtube.com slash baby's booty slash join all right so here is our crystal ab which looks lackluster with the plastic over the top you know what yeah y'all because i brought these tote bags up we was gonna bling on the tote bag oh my gosh it's my fault. I should have known better. All right. So there's that heart. We'll bring that up. And then um, are you... What did I see? Enjoy you. Oh, oh, thank you, Lucille. I appreciate that. Where's my heel? I don't know what you mean. Where's the heel? I don't know what you mean. Where's the heel? Okay, so for those who may not know, I'm starting to um, put the rhinestones on cardstock now instead of the fabric pieces because of the fraying. Um, yeah, you can see the fraying right there on the edge. That was annoying me. So we put it on cardstock. So I have to make sure that it cools sufficiently. One of the neatest things, I keep this ceramic tile right here. And I put it on the ceramic tile and I can hold, press my hand against it and feel it sucking the heat out of the rhinestones. It's so cool. I absolutely love that. I showed my daughter that and she just couldn't believe it. All right. So when it sucks the heat out, then the glue has hardened sufficiently to pull the oh high heels, right? I know, right? But I'm, I'm not kidding. I can't... Uh... Your girl can't swing. I'm going to have to find me some. And some purple ones, too. I'm going to have to go on Amazon and find me some. I know. I know. I know. I know. I'm going to have to find me some that um I can I can have like I wear them and can't wear them. Because, I mean, I'm saying I can't wear them because I don't have high heels. I don't have them anymore. So, because the way these ankles are set up, baby. I got skinty ankles and they they weak and they don't, 
they don't hold the heifer up like they used to. And I ain't trying to break nothing. I've never had a broken bone and don't ever want one. So that's a that's a no for me, dog. But I can get me a pair, some pretty purple ones. And we're going to have them right here so that I can smooth it down with them purple heels. I just had that pen, y'all. What did I do with it? Did y'all see what I did with that pen? This is what happens when you get discombobulated. Okay, so, but at any rate, this is Crystal AB, and this is Rainbow. That The time I put a designer going to for cousin, I said I had to take it back and weld the parts. When I put it up again, she was able to use it. Um, They are, well, not welded, but they're welded. Like, there's no separate pieces. No, you know what I'm saying? Like, the dots aren't separated. They're all squished together so i don't know how well this ain't this ain't showing my crystal a yeah my crystal a b go harder than this you know what hold on and then that'll let me look and see what in the world is going on with this thing right here oh there we go i swear sometimes cameras just don't don't be doing us ju justice but this is rainbow and this is crystal ab so as you can see and it's crystal it's a crystal stone so you're going to see more of the the clear crystal to it but it also has um the reflective coating that gives it that greenish reflects green it reflects some pink some gold it's actually really neat so as i sit here and rotate it to myself i can see all of those different colors in it Crushed Ice AB, Crystal AB rather, is a color that is a very good color to keep in your inventory because in some ways, customers prefer the Crystal AB over the Crystal. It's interesting how that works um, because my tier team, they prefer the AB color because it just, because it reflects all of those colors, it seems like it's sparkling more when technically it ain't, but we ain't gonna go there. So this is the rainbow and this is the crystal AV. Okay. Release stones group. I did that to, I did that T Johnson. That's for certain I did. Oh, Regina, thank you. That's what's up. That is so cool. Um, So I'll show you again for those who may be coming in late, but the this is the file right here that was there see it's public this project will be visible you know so this this is that was it um and it was something else i was gonna tell y'all i can't remember what it is but yeah it's a you know patrice taught me very well so all three layers have been released, have been grouped, and then have been made into compound paths. So there are no, you know, issues with uploading or downloading or anything like that. So it should have worked just fine. And we can go ahead and bling one because I do want to give away these bags. And um, I do have a couple of bags sitting up here so we can bling one. Visible but can't be used. See, so it's, it's there. It's there. All right, so let's go back to the table. Let's go back to the table. And you said crushed ice AB. Which I did see that over here in my stack of colors. So I know I have that one. I saw it a minute ago because it's sitting with its cousin crushed ice. Which is right here and right here. So this is crushed ice AB. This is Crystal AB. Carol Coleman, thank you so very, very much for the super chat. Holler! <laughs> Holler! Thank you, ma'am. We appreciate your support of our channel. Thank you so very much. We do appreciate it. This is crushed ice with no AB coating. It's a completely clear rhinestone. And this is crushed ice AB. So it's the exact same rhinestone. 
it's the same stone, but this one has an AB coating. It's like a metallic coating. Okay, no worries. It could be because we were getting ready to put that up and it just didn't get around to it yet. But thank you. I will do that. Um, so here is the crushed ice AB, and this the crystal AB. They're they're they would be similar, but this one reflects more lighter colors, and this one reflects the background. So it's on a black background, so that's why it's reflecting more darker than this one is. So if this was on a light background, it would reflect lighter, for instance. Let's see if we can't get this to work. It might work, then again, it might not. See how it's, it's reflecting now more of the white background because it's on white as opposed to being on the darker background. The Crushed Ice AB. All righty, so... Let's go back to our template and see if we can't blame this thing because it was cute. It really was. Well, welcome back, Cindy. Thank you for joining us. You're welcome, Kina. So I did the lazy thing. What did uh, Patrice tell me? She called me out yesterday, uh, Friday, y'all. She was like, don't do the lazy thing and put the... Uh, template so i put mine on either side oh wait a minute my bad hold on hold on hold on, hold on. time out so here are someone asked me about how i store my templates so i'm just pulling out a handful of them and you see here are my templates i got a whole stack of them and they're all on these chopping mats so i store them standing up just like this um right here beside me in the wind on the window seal and i have way more <laughs> sitting over there standing up and then it um keeps them where all i gotta do is kind of like file through them like this and see what template i want to use next you know what that's what i'm gonna blame oh, that shoot I'm gonna, I'm gonna blame patrice's design that's what i'm gonna do because i cut out her template and i didn't get to make it so i'm gonna make her design i hate to do y'all like that hey delando honey bunny i enjoyed you immensely yesterday um so we're going to bling this and I'm going to make a bag with this one too. And this one is going to be a, a, you know, this is a pretty big design to be going on that bag. So she had her template is on her Etsy page and it is super cute. She did a marvelous job with this template. It looked bomb.com on her shirt. And so I cut out all of the layers except for one layer left. I have to cut out and i'm gonna bling this and i don't have a a purple high heel to you know press my stones down and stuff so hopefully y'all will forgive me for that but you know because you got to have the best tools for the job and and you know that a purple pump would be perfect but i don't have one so for this i think she used jet black i can't remember did you use uh, patrice did you use jet black or did you use hematite because I have hematite right here. Um, and we kind of want to use some other colors too. Even though she used red, green, and I think yellow. I think. Ooh, you know what? I know what I'm going to do. I know exactly what I'm going to do. I know what color I'm going to use and everything. I just need it. Is it? No, that's what's the face. I don't want to say it out loud because here it is. Oh, I could have used that too, but I'm going to use this one. Nope, just the same thing. Dang, damn it. Um, I may have to go with this. I'm looking for my smoke topaz. I think that's the color I'm going to use and put on this bag. The outline and the har. Y'all, I'm gonna have to get me a purple. I need some purple heels. Even though I can't wear them. I need some so I can be pretty. I can hear Mr. McQuackins now. He he love that. 
Y'all got stones everywhere. Let's see. This is what happens when I, so Delanda asked the other day about how to pick. Oh, is this it? Yes. How to pick colors and stuff. Unfortunately, a lot of instances I got to pick what's right here at my fingertips because if I don't, like I just did, I'll be having to search all over because they're in containers. But that's also why I built my stand or have, you know, made that stand that I saw on Etsy. All right, y'all. So we're going to figure this out. I'm going to do this. Mr. McClack is had to take me shoe shopping. Y'all, the, the thing, I don't even have to say nothing. I don't. He He would love that. You thought she used jet black? I want to try. I want to try the smoke. I thought she did black because she was saying it was hard for her. Yeah, she did. I know she did black. Did she do only one template or did she do two? Because we did so many shirts, y'all. It was, it was, it was a, this was a live for forever. Like, first of all, we did so many shirts until it was crazy. It set a world record of most shirts blinged on a bling live we had to have i think the the highest quantity up until friday night was two maybe we did four so i can't even remember everything we did i just know the skull jacket and that's it that's all that's coming to my mind right now because that's just how full the show was prior to all the fun we had once the alcohol got the flowing. And that's probably why I don't have to remember the rest of the show, to be quite frank. All right. So, I mean, I do remember the rest of the show, but the first part, how many, what all shirts we did. All right. So, I brushed in her fro, and I'm going to do the L O. Ooh, I just realized what I'm going to do. It's going to be a little unconventional, y'all, just a little bit. I think it'll be really pretty. And I think it'll showcase the, well, darn, now I just came up with another idea. Mm, 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 mm. Um. Oh, and also, you know what I just happened to think of too? If you don't, um, I'm sure you follow Cricketing with Delanda. If you don't, that's, that's a problem. You really need to go do that. But on her youtube channel she did a post pretty sure it was today or yesterday my days are merging together i apologize but she did put a post for atlanta vinyl they have rhinestone flop and she put a link her affiliate link to go grab the um flop so if you don't have rhinestone flop and you missed out on the sale with heat transfer warehouse actually at some point i may go over to her channel grab her affiliate link because i don't have one um and that way we can she can get some extra support over there but you can even go directly to her channel click her link in her community post go to the community tab and get the link to go directly to the flop come on fam and uh Get you some rhinestone flock if you missed out on heat transfer warehouse sale. So we appreciate any and all references to rhinestone flock. Um, I know Sheila has uh, posted for the rhinestone world a couple of times. I know um, Andrea T has posted for. Uh, it's not specialty. I think it's the 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 acronym for specialty graphics is in there, but it's like. S-E-P-S or something like that. Um, my brain can't tell me what that is right now because my mind is all over the place. But several of y'all have been posting flock sightings. And we appreciate it because, you know, flock is hot right now. We need the flock for these super cute templates because you see how much flock this template takes. This is, this, is, this is a big template. And I even messed up down here at the bottom. And we, we don't care. We're going to make this work. We gonna make, the only reason I couldn't make the little bug work is because, or the cutie or whatever it is, I worry I couldn't make that work is because it was, um, it wasn't in a place where I could, I'll show it to you actually. So it's right here. So here is the 
outline and how it was supposed to cut. And because my Bluetooth signal was messed up, it cut like this. Let me see. I didn't even put it on a what's the face, and so it's sticking to other stuff. See, it's missing his cheeks. Not those, not the behind cheeks, but like his little cheeks on his face. It didn't cut that at all. Like I, the, the cricket stopped in the middle of cutting and then it did something. I don't know what it did. Did something crazy, did something crazy. And then it started back up again as if it was starting brand new and it finished. And this is what I got. So I don't know what the deal was with that. But this is, um, this is it cutting out like it was supposed to. So sometimes stuff doesn't cut out right and, and we don't want to waste block. So definitely want to do that. Six hours of a whole lot of bling and laughter while we're great company. And I appreciate it because Miss Davenport, I know you have to get up early and stuff and so we we appreciate y'all hanging with us because it was fun y'all i had a whole ball a whole ball matter of fact me and mr mcquackens watched it again today that's how much i enjoyed that show we sat there and cried had me rolling to my we gotta say a silent prayer before we take that uh flock of loose <laughs> that thing i swear Woo! You need that laughter though some days because it's been a rough. It's been, I ain't gonna say rough. It ain't been bad, but it's been a long couple of weeks leading up to today. So again, the buy-in is now active. If you are um, not familiar with the buy-in, these beautiful stones that we are brushing in right now, we do offer them wholesale, business wholesale, um, once a month on our website. And at business wholesale prices you're able to purchase them in bulk the only thing that makes it a buy-in versus a sale is that we all go in together to purchase so that we can get a great rate on these stones and i can get them to you at a really nice wholesale price we have to wait on them to come back so it takes roughly about 30 days for me to get it back from the manufacturer and then get them out to you so that's the only catch so to speak because there is no catch it's it's a great deal it's available there's no charge to join you just go onto the website purchase what you want and then we got you fam we got you all right so let me cut this and lately i've been cutting my transfer tape too small so hopefully i'll get it right tonight we got to see. Looks like it's too small again. Lord have mercy. Look at there. Look at there. Look at there. It's too small. Let me see. What if I go this way? Oh, it's not. Is it too small if I go that way? Yeah, it's still too small. Oh! One of these days, I'm going to be smart and use a ruler. Let's use a ruler so I can be smart today. All right. And then it don't help my glasses be wanting to fall off while I'm down here. All right. And we don't waste KTM mask either. We we gonna save that big that piece that I messed up for a smaller section. Much better. All right. This is loud. I apologize in advance. I apologize. When I'm on live with Patrice and I know I'm about to pull that, I try to mute my microphone. Woo! Okay, so I almost went down. I almost messed myself up because I can feel the static. So Patrice, she'll rub it on her clothes to dispel some of the static electricity, which is an excellent idea unless your clothes are staticky. Um, but once you do that, just get your transfer tape. You see how I have it bent like this in a U shape? Bend it. And then kind of like eyeball getting it to go in place and then just drop it and follow through. Commit, don't quit, and get those rhinestones picked up, okay? Now, what happens if you drop this transfer tape and say this part of her hair 
was picked up because the tape was too far over. And don't fret. All you got to do is find a section of tape where there is no rhinestones, like right here where there are no stones. And you can cut that strip off and then lay it over here, overlapping this tape, and it will make an extension. And it will allow you to pick up the part that you missed. So it's no, no harm, no foul, no worries. Like right here, this is like super, super tight. Let me just say, let me get you up where you can see. See how the tape just barely missed that. Barely. It should have covered that a little bit more. So we're going to show you exactly what I do. I just come right here. There are no stones right here. I'll cut a piece that's long enough to cover that. All right. So here's my here's my piece. And then I'll come right here and just lay it down right there. But I'm overlapping what's already here so that it'll have something to hang on to. And there we got. See, now it's covering it. You don't have to worry about it. If you lay your tape down and some stones shift out of place, don't stress. Don't get upset. What you can do is kind of push with your fingernail and push those stones into the holes that might have been out of the holes. Um, if some stones flipped over, don't get upset. Don't fret. Grab you some tweezers. So if you're going to be doing rhinestones, you need to get some tweezers. I got these. These are okay to use. They're, they, some could be better. You can get some bent tweezers, whatever the case may be. Get you some kind of pinpoint tweezers and just pull it back to where, say if a stone right here flipped over, just pull it back to right there and grab it off of the tape with, with the tweezers, flip it right side up, lay that back, see where it goes, and put it back in the hole and drop it down. Y'all, it's not hard. It's not hard. It's not hard. Yeah, the buy now um, is turned off. We actually were uh, running low on the stuff, so it kind of worked out. Um, but the buy now is turned off. Okay, so this part is done. I think it's super cute. This is um, brown uh, smoke topaz. So I think that's going to be adorbs. And we're going to put this on a canvas tote bag. So I'm going to put it on here. And I don't have Tilly turned, the Tilly's camera turned on. So give me a sec to move this over. And we're going to lay our bag down. And I lay it on this piece of uh, plywood or wood because my mat here is very sensitive to heat and it'll warp. So I'm using this to help protect my mat for after I press this. And I just never moved it. So that's why it's still sitting there. And when you pull this off, kind of be careful to not let the edges warp around and touch each other on this plastic because they'll do that and uh, get on your nerves a little bit. All right, so let's move that off to the side again. And we're gonna lay this down on this bag. And I'm gonna do, since it's on this canvas, I'm gonna do like some shades of brown and green. I think that's gonna be super dope. All right. And if it's too super dope, then I might keep it for myself. But we're going to try and make it not so super dope so that I'll still give it away. Okay. All right. So I'm going to press that. I'm going to go ahead and press it. Normally, I try to have all the layers done before I press. But we're going to go ahead and press it. Because no lie, I'm still bummed out, y'all. I'm still bummed out. But I'm trying not to let it get to me. All right. So that is done. I'm fighting some, some tape over here. This one had me upset even more. I'm going to set you up here since you want to be difficult. All right. So here comes the bag. Here comes the bag again. All right. And it already flipped itself up. I don't know why, but there's our design. Looking super cute. One of my stones must have flipped over or something. It's still stuck to the to the tape. You see it? I'm gonna take this off and I'm gonna put it right here. 
And then when I go to press the next layer, I'm going to make sure that that's in place so that it can press again. All right. And so let's slide this off to the side. I'm going to hold it like that so that that stone can stay sitting where it is. And with this template, I'm going to do olivine. Hopefully it was right here. I saw it earlier. So hopefully it's still here. Here it is. So we're going to use olivine. Olivine SS10. This is an SS10 template because Patrice loves me very, very much. And she knows that my old eyes need larger rhinestones instead of those SS6. And I didn't see that the tape sticks to itself. You almost guaranteed to learn a new language pretty much. Hi, Abby M. Atlanta vinyl is sold out now. Oh my gosh, y'all buying it all up. This is crazy. This is almost like toilet paper. She says it's going to be dope no matter what. I appreciate that, honey bunny. I really do. Okay, so I kind of want her earring to be gold, though. Don't want her to have a gold earring instead of a green earring. It's already got some green in there, so I might leave it alone. Don't make me two-tone her earring. What? Don't make me two-tone her earring. Hold on. We might have to do some fancy maneuvering in here and show y'all how... You can take a template and make it your own if you want to. You can book the trend. It doesn't have to be the way it was given to you, okay? So let's see here. Hopefully I'm not missing anything. Give me a second. I'll look. Nikesha, thank you. She said, um, so not, not so super dope. We're going to see. We're going to see. Hopefully it'll be super dope. All right. Hopefully it'll be super dope anyways. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I want to do this design in like shades of brown, but this green was going to be like that extra element in there that was going to be a little bit different, kind of like camo. That's the look I'm going for, right? So let's get this olivine in there. All right, and so what I'm going to do is get real fancy, okay? We're going to get, well, not real fancy, but a little bit fancy. So let's slide that in that spot. Let's grab one of these and put that up there in that hole. There's one hole there that's missing. Let's put one there. Everybody looks great from there. Down here, we've got one missing right there. So let's put that in there. And then there's three holes right here that are filled in. So don't think that that's three just sitting there because it's not. Now, right here, I'm going to go super fancy. And I'm going to make the inside of her earring olivine. We're going to do a two-tone earring, y'all. What? What? She's going to be fancy. I mean, fancy, fancy. So when she go out on her date night, she's going to look real good. So whoever get this bag is going to get a custom one of a kind fancy earring person. Okay. And I think, uh, Patrice, I think this one's going to have to, because it's the earring, it's got to be cut and put in place. But I don't know. We're going to find out. Because I forgot to look and make sure of what I was doing. Oh, you know what? Well, no, no, I'm doing this right. Hold on. All right, so one of the other colors I'm going to use is topaz because she used arm on hers. So we're going to go topaz on ours. Or it should have been rainbow. I bet rainbow would have been cute too. All right. Here's my lid. Let's put that on. Let's put that there. Now, I had topaz the other day. Let's do light topaz. No, no, that's not gold enough. I want it to be topaz. Hold on. There we go. Holler. All right. So I'm going to grab a couple of these. And then I'm going to do her earrings. Her earrings fancy, fancy. Look at that two-tone. What? So in deciding what colors to do when you're doing a template or what colors to get when you're doing the buy-in, 
there is no right or wrong answer on what colors to get or you know what colors to use when you're when you finally do get your stuff because it's entirely up to you this was on a whim i wasn't even supposed to be doing this template with y'all tonight i just went with it because number one is is an awesome template and i low-key need to put this on a shirt for me not for no bag for no giveaway but it is what it is um but i loved the design and i knew i wanted to do it anyway but tonight i was gonna try and do the little the little bug thing a cutie thing so since that train was derailed we went this route and i just picked colors on a whim because i knew well it came to me what colors i thought would look good together so hopefully we won't have any issues with the colors doing well all right so i'm going to use this exact same ktm mask okay exact same and i'm going to go straight down that's why i love the ktm mask because you can use it over and over and over again um when i was doing my card stock hearts so some of these didn't they shifted let's see if you can you see how that and shifted a little bit out of the so all i'm gonna do is use my fingernail and press these into their place just like so and see now it's where it needs to be very simple don't stress out if it doesn't do what it's supposed to do you entering the giveaway don't judge me hilarious I'm not going to judge you, but it's your design, ma'am. All right, so that's that side. Where's the bag? Oh, it's right here. All right, Patrice, hopefully I don't mess this up because I think I see where this goes. Whoop. I don't know what I also passed. Yep, that looks like the E. That's the V. Awesome. So, yeah, the earring is going to have to go. I'm going to have to get that earring separate which is fine okay so when you're layering those of you who are familiar with vinyl are familiar with layering it works for the most part the exact same way the only difference i personally would think is sometimes you get a little bit more flexibility with the rhinestones than you do with uh vinyl sometimes all right so i'm trying to make sure this lays in place the way i think it should fit and it does and right there it has shifted a little itty bitty bit but it'll be all right i'm gonna go right there and then the earring is right here so i'm gonna trim this off that's the earring and it goes right here so let's slide that back now you want to make sure that this doesn't go up under any other rhinestones, okay? Because, you see, it's got that little extra. As a matter of fact, let's cut that. That way I know for sure it's not going to get caught under any other rhinestones, okay? And if you ever go to pick up a part of a design or whatever and it's shifting on here, you can easily just pick it back up and lay it right back on this template and make sure that the stones all fit back in their holes the way they're supposed to by using your fingernail to push it back in place then pick it up and try it again just don't fret don't fret don't stress out it ain't that serious all right so here's her earring and i don't see any rhinestones that's gonna get caught and pressed to the top of this instead of pressing to the bag so we're good there all right, so here we go. We're going to go and press this. That looks great. Oh, my gosh. And there's one more layer I did not cut, but it's a short, it's a simple layer. Like, it doesn't have a whole bunch of um, stones in it. So, we're going to cut that together. Whoops, sorry. Why are you laying right here? Oh, my God, y'all. My dog is not my mascot. McQuackens, uh, Sir McQuackens is. Who has a dog that doesn't fetch? That doesn't play with a ball, doesn't play with any toys whatsoever. She just lays there. She's crazy. All right. So here's the olivine. The first color is smoke topaz. Now we did olivine with the exception of her earring, which is going to be, which is topaz. But this is olivine right here. So let's go ahead and peel that off. That olivine is out here busting. 
already, y'all. Look at that. That looks good. Oh, my goodness. That looks good. That looks great. Okay. So, because I did her earring, the outer part in topaz, the next layer I do is going to be topaz. So, we're going to do topaz to go with the olivine. All right. And so, let's grab this side and grab the topaz. And we are going to pour this out. Now, in these ice chips, they come with um, 20 gross in SS10. SS10 rhinestones is 20 gross. If you get the ice chips, uh, so in the SS6 ice pick, which comes with the um, some ice chips in the ice pick as well. In the ice pick, the SS6 gets 50 gross, 5-0. But in the SS10, is 20 gross. And so I put a little card on the website to help you guys that may not understand what the how to measure or not measure how to get the quantity of stones correct and to know what the quantities are and what they mean i put a little card on there to help you get that straight so you're talking about 2880 rhinestones at a minimum okay so a lot of times your templates that you're going to be working with or designs rather um, that you will cut your templates out they in a lot of instances are not um that many stones we got us an imposter hold on it's crystal or something um so you're able to get like in this instance look at how many stones like this isn't all one color is I guess what I'm trying to get at. So I'm sure this template is probably over 2,500 stones, but because it's not all one color, that breaks up that total. So your chip goes farther. Okay. So just keep that in mind. But your average, you know, from what I've seen is somewhere like 1,500 to 2,000 stones. It just depends on the design. It can, it can vary. It really can. So don't get too frustrated just make sure to check your design that you're going to do and uh see how many stones is in it okay all right there's that i got two stones that are not there here whoops there's that one there's that one there's an extra one there there's one that's not sh shimmering here angela daniel welcome holler yas honey yas <laughs> thank you so very much for joining the hoop group man we appreciate the support of our channel very very much actually and uh so we definitely want to thank you wholeheartedly for your support and uh you know what y'all nobody said anything about a new baby nobody got any new babies Hearing no kind of baby for no kind of babies. I mean, we could probably make up babies, but that ain't as fun when you know you actually got one. Okay, so here is the next part to the template. Oh, ooh, Jennifer. Um, give me a sec to look at the tag in there. I don't know. Actually, it's a uh, it's a simple canvas bag. Let's see. I think this was in the um, value something or other. What is it called? What is this bag? QTs. It's a QTs brand bag. Let's turn it this way for those who don't want to cock their head to the side. QTs of, did I say California? QTs of California. That's the brand of the bag. All right, so let's pick this one up now. And because I cut this notch out down here, I'm going to make sure to put it down here where there's extra space. So hopefully I won't have to worry about messing that up. All right, and so let's drop it. We're going to U-shape, go straight down and commit. We don't quit. And then grab these stones. And as I'm rubbing on them without my purple shoe, I'm going to make sure that none of these are flipped over. Everybody's in their place. And once I have that, then I'm going to pick them up. 
Andrea T, congratulations on the Epson 2850. Holler! <laughs> oh, no, Roxanne ain't got the Juliet. Holler! Yas, honey. Yas. <laughs> that's what's up. That's a, that's a baby right there for you, too. Now, be careful when you're peeling these off. And Delonda, I know that's right. Ain't nobody got time for real babies, but when you peel these off, be careful on your side part to your templates because these will hold on to the template tape and they'll pop as you peel it off and throw your stones if, if you're not careful. So just pull carefully and slowly and it'll it'll come right off. Um, but that's why I generally trim my mats closer to the size of the template to keep that from happening. All right. So I didn't pick up my stones. That's a no-no, but hopefully I won't fling them all over the place. All right, so last time I watched you was when I started machine embroidery. Yes, I do still do machine embroidery um, lives with tutorials, but you also can catch a lot of my um, older pre-recorded um, content is still there for uh, embroidery. I got a lot of in the hoop things and we actually... And I don't like the way that's fitting. Hold on. I want that closer. We actually um, did an in the hoop project recently for hoop group members. So if you were a member here on the channel, you were able to get in on a Zoom where we did a chip bag tutorial. And I'll show you that here in a moment because that was a lot of fun um, where we took bags of different brands of chips and then we cut the bag and use it as fabric to make a little zipper pouch with the embroidery machine. So this was a lot of fun. And we do have another um, another in the hoop coming up um, where you can join us in doing something super fun. All right. So the topaz is down and we have it in place. And I'm going to go ahead and press this. Oh, Sonya, congratulations on your grandbaby. That's a real baby. That's a real baby. That kind is, uh, you got to feed that kind. All right. So let's grab these and put this up. I should have done it before I laid that tape down, but I did not. Bloop. Oh, I had an extra stone. Uh-oh. Let's see where an extra stone was. I don't see an extra stone. There's a stain right there. That's not a stone, but smudge or something. I don't know what that is. Lint, probably lint on me. All right. So here is the topaz and we'll look for that extra stone here once we pull this off. So there's that topaz. So that topaz is not playing any kind of games with this olivine. It looks great. So I'm gonna hold this up for a little bit while I sit here and contemplate what my last color is going to be. So again, this is smoke topaz. Her hair and the outline is smoke topaz. The uh, green part of the letters is olivine and in her earring. And then the outer part of her earring and um, the other stripes are all topaz. Okay. So hopefully you guys um, are able to see that. So while I let's move this off to the side so you see the colors right here are the colors I need to do one more color but at the same time I also have one more template to cut out so I'm going to let y'all take a gander at that while I come over here and get us set up to do the last part of that template it was green in Patrice's uh in Patrice's thing. So let's go right here and share this screen. All right. And so here it is. And I'm going to make it because everything was already done with it. And I just did not cut the last uh, part to the template because I can't even remember what happened. It was a lot going on. 
So here's the last piece, I think. Let me come up here. No, technically that's the last piece too. I don't know why I didn't cut that either. Okay, so right here, I need a piece that is at least seven and a half, but I'm gonna go for eight inches by 10 and a half inches. Coffee would look nice with that combo. Somebody said put purple. What do y'all think? Weigh in on that. Um, so the, right here, we're going to go with, I'm going to go with an eight by 10 piece. Okay. Yeah, that's the name I gave it. I mean, it's the truth. That's what it is, right? Um, Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I don't think that piece I cut earlier is going to be big enough because I had a piece of flock. That was, yeah, no, that ain't big enough. Okay. So let's move this off to the side while I pull down containers of stones. And what did I say? Eight. Eight inches. I don't need to worry about the larger number because the flock is 12 inches anyway. But eight inches for sure. And I, since I have stuff all over the place, this is going to be a tight fit, but we're going we gonna to make this happen. We're going to make it happen. Make it happen, Captain. Okay, so that's eight inches. And where's my handle so I don't get busted in my ear? Instead of taking a chance and winding up back at the ER. Y'all know that was a year ago that I cut my finger. It was in January of last year that I cut my finger. Almost off the tip. Almost cut this sucker right on off. All right. Where's her lips? Okay, that is that what that is? Is that what the number um three? Hold on, I'll show you. Timmy, hold on. Okay, so yes, I can definitely recommend the ice chipper because that does allow you to try out um, multiple colors at one time. Um, so yeah, if you can do the ice chipper, that would be a, a good place to start. Um, and you get 20 gross of every color that you choose. And as far as colors is concerned, you know, I would pretty much say, what are your favorite colors? Um, grab those. More popular colors may not be colors that you like, but um, your crystal, crystal AB, your black or your red and others can weigh in as well on, you know, the colors that they found helpful that they like the most all right so you said this is this the lips right here patrice i'm hoping so because i was like why is this little itty bitty and if so what i'll do is move it down here if that's what that is where is oh there we go so i click it right how do i tell it to move i don't even remember yes that's it okay I'm off now and can somewhat pay attention to the chat. Hi, Dimps, honey. How do I move this? You know what? Forget it. I think I can move this one. Yeah, why wouldn't it let me move the other one? Chump. Move object. I want to move it here. Confirm. Okay, so that worked, right? Right. Okay. So good thing I cut it the right size because that was up in the corner and that worked. So I'm going to waste the flock since it's all small. No worries, my dear. We appreciate. Did I put my flock on there right? Hold on. I probably didn't put my flock on there right. I did not. I put it um, lengthwise up and down and not. See, I put it the wrong way and it was supposed to go this way. Look at me messing up, y'all. Messing up. We done messed up the little bag little fro bag all right so on my Cricut maker um i started out with using the 
setting of medium card stock with more pressure but as my blade got worn down more and more from constantly cutting rhinestone flop i now use heavy card stock and then i use more pressure for the heavy card stock and that's the settings that i use for doing my um templates okay so let's go ahead and tell that to cut and we'll come back here and sorry for that being loud as we know it is and then we'll look at this again so you suggested what did you suggest again coffee that's what you suggested you suggested coffee coffee would be pretty with that I'm not familiar with the names of the colors right so um that's not an issue like even on the website for the most part you pick a color it'll show um the colors red would be pretty somebody said lights i am that would be pretty too Super unusual. sun orange would be pretty as well any other suggestions chris mill say that's why she still gotta close her eyes and use the handle i know right i still gotta close my eyes and that ain't good because I'm the one cutting coffee. Somebody else said coffee. Yeah, I think that coffee would be fire because it's all browns. You know what I'm saying? Let's go with coffee. It's a neutral, some so to speak. It's a neutral color. Amethyst would have been pretty too. I'm sitting here looking at the amethyst right there. I just had coffee. Is this coffee? This is coffee. Aliana said coffee. Rose gold would be pretty too. That would be dope. Coffee is going for the camo look. I am, Diana. Yes, I am going for a camo. Red lips. Oh, yeah. Full show. Full show. This is coffee. As you see, it's a nice, rich brown. So, yeah, that would balance this out really well. Four for sure all right and then we're gonna get us the reddest red i got let's see where is our light fam she's gonna have them foxy lips speaking of which i need to cut out them lips for um uh, my husband said when i came in here to cut out the cutie thing he said you need to cut out that template for uh katrina i said you're right i do need to cut that out i'm gonna have to make sure to do it what did i do forget I swear. Getting old is a trip. Uh, that's Siam. Yeah, no, that's Siam. Siam is darker than light Siam. This is Siam right here, just to show you what the Siam looks like for those who may not have seen it. Ooh. That's nice and red. Dark, dark red. So let's see if I can't find the light Siam. Because this is light Siam, but it is light Siam and SS6, not the SS10. So see the difference? See how dark red that is? How light that is? Super, super pretty. Is the flock similar to stencil material? No, it's not. Oh, well, it depends, Cindy, what kind of stencil material you mean. Like, I've seen some thick stencil material. It it could definitely be similar, except this feels like suede right here. But it's thick. It's on a thick base. Sharon Tavenport, thank you so much for the super chat. Holler. Yas, honey. Yas. Holler. Yes, one pass, AJ Harris. Oh, emerald green would have been cute too, but we got we got the topaz. I mean, olivine. All right, so let's see if we can't find one of these days. I'm gonna have my my stand done, and y'all gonna be like, "We want this color," and I'm be like, "Bam, it's right there," and I'm gonna pull it out and be like, "Here you go." They gonna be like, "We want this color, it's right here." Bam, I'm gonna pull it out, and it's gonna be right there. One of these days one of these days all right let's make sure the lids are back on that because that's ss6 and that will be a whole high mess 
if that fell over and spilled. Y'all, I might have to go with the darn cyan because I don't see my light cyan. Hey, Vanessa Parnell, how are you? Welcome back. Have a good night, LaDonna. And Miss Sharon Davenport usually have to go. So Miss Sharon Davenport, if you have to go as well, you have a good night. Ooh, I could do pink lips, y'all. I didn't think of that. I didn't think of pink. I got light pink, but I don't think that's punchy enough. Cause some people wear pink lipstick. Some people wear pink lipstick. colors everywhere y'all i swear it's so helpful there's the sun i don't have much of my sun left it's not a lot look at that sun look 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 at that sun busting in the container y'all look at that oh, look at that look at that somebody come and look at this look at that where your shades at i don't blind about 14 of y'all in here just that quick because you didn't have your shades on my bad I sure did. I swear. I swear. When the stones are far from your eyes. Oh, you know what? I think I got a uh, thingy down here. Let me see. No, no. Oh, guess not. I thought I had back in my travel bag. All right, y'all. Why this cutting? I'm gonna have to go grab. Oh, wait a minute. Where are you? Oh, that's Rose AB. Where are you? You are. Here's Rose. I can do Rose. I was thinking Fuchsia, but we can do Rose. Do you have a rubber band, sir? And when you are working with your rhinestones in your containers, I don't, it doesn't matter what container it is. It can be your ice chips. It can be your 250 gross. It can be your 250 gross SS6. Please remember to have them sitting on the table when you're taking your lid off. Try to have one hand holding the bottom removing that top lid please do the same for your ice chips hold it on the table pull that lid off and then put your lid back on and the exact same thing for your tall containers because we don't want what we don't want is our grip to loosen because we're trying to open it and then stones go flying everywhere it is very possible because the, the lids are held on with friction. So just be careful. Leave it sitting on the table to take your lids off. I am guilty myself of taking the lids off, holding the containers in the air. And keep your bands. The bands help keep your stuff all together and keep everything nice and neat. Um, but just please do that for me. I would appreciate it. Because what a heifer does not want is the pain in my soul. When folks say, oh, no, my stuff went, went everywhere. And I was just like, oh, my God, we don't waste stones, people. We don't waste stones. Okay, so our template is done. Holler. Told y'all it was a simple one. All right, and we did combine the two. So as you see, all I did was put the flock, rhinestone flock, on the Cricut mat. The backing for me is still on there. Some people like to take the backing off and then stick it to the mat that's okay that's your choice if you so choose to do so i prefer to not and then i'm going to just take this off to make my life easier and i'm going to set this up off out of the way and then here we're going to peel this backing off and then as you peel you should see your dots because if you look at it right here without looking at this section if you look at it, it don't look like anything cut does it it looks like, Lord, did not cut. But once you start to peel, you'll see your circles emerge 
from the depths of beauty. And as you also notice, all of the holes did not cut. Look at that. Look, look, look. Why? But it's all right, because what we're going to do is flip this over, and we're going to take the same rhinestone flock and smooth it where those holes should have come out and let the paper do the hard work of hanging on to those extra stones and pulling them out. And even then, sometimes all of the stones still, uh, holes still may not come out like this one didn't. And then in that instance, I can either stick it again or I'm just going to sit here and pull them off, even though I don't like them sticking to my fingers, but it's all right. A girl got to get over herself and her idiosyncrasies when she got some blinging to do. So I deals with it. And you will find eventually the more rhinestoning you do, the more you will find these little dots in nether places. So don't be surprised. Okay. And I'm just going to leave that at that. Okay. So we're done here. That's all of the dots. So I'm just going to fold this and then put it in the refuse container. And I'm going to do the lazy thing because it's just easier. And I'm going to put this to the back of this. Uh-oh, it looks like my throw stone came out. Is that right? Oh, look, y'all see a hole didn't cut, didn't come loose right there. And that's where a stone goes. But it's all right. She's still cute. All right, so I'm going to go this way, actually. So I'm pretty sure. Let me take a look. Whoops. Yep, this is how that goes. Okay, so we're going to do coffee. And her lipstick is going to be rose. Even though coffee brown lipstick is cute, too. Now, don't get it twisted. Don't get it twisted brown is awesome as well but we're gonna go with rose let her have a traditional pout all right and so let's slide this over scoot 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 boot and scoot boogie over here and then we'll stone this part right here okay And like I said, if you or anyone you know got inside school with cricket, let them know we don't we ain't trying to you know burn their pockets or nothing. We we want to bling a little cutie bug or whatever it is, and then y'all can have it. I don't don't wish to just give them a little something extra that they can offer their peoples. That's it. That's all we was doing. Is that a hole? No, that's not. That's a space. Hey, best uni honey bunny. How is the fabulous one doing today? All right, so let's drop these into their container. Put the lid back on it. All right, and I'm going to pick this up right now, and then I'll do her lips, okay? Straight down. There we go. Did anybody flip over? Nope, don't look like it, even though that's over the top of that lint. So hopefully that'll pick that stone up. All right. And so good thing is because this is a semi, yeah, I thought so, because that lint is right there. Let me see if I can get that lint off. Um, this is a fairly new piece of um, transfer tape. So I wasn't super worried about, you know what, that ain't going to work. That's not going to pick up that stone because that piece of lint or whatever that is is stuck on my mat, uh, transfer tape. And it has to be hot fix transfer tape. It can't be any other kind because hot fix transfer tape works with a heat press. If you use non hot fix tape, then you risk melting your transfer tape. So you can't just use just any transfer tape. So keep that in mind as well. However, on the other side of this, um, you want to, there are six little stones for her lips. You want to just pay attention to your transfer tape, but you can use it multiple times, especially if it's this KTM mask. 
for some good stuff. All right. And so I'm going to cut another little bitty piece. Actually, what's this? This is on my, this was on my scissors. So I'm just going to use this for this small loop, just like that. Look at that. That's crazy how that worked out. That was that piece I cut off because it was hanging extra over. And so there we got her lips. All right. So let's finish her off. Holler. All right. So her lips go right here, I assume. So she can look funky, fly, foxy. All right. And then here is, I need that one coffee stone. Let me make sure that's what this is. And it is. So we're finishing off our tote bag. And let me get this one stone. All right. Cute. OMG. I love it. Oh, 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 oh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I did love it. Let's move this up. Let's move that up so that these line up with the others. I don't want your bag to be jacked up. All right. Is that better? That's better. And then that one stone was right there. So I'm going to put that one stone. Let's peel this back just enough to set that one stone right in there somewhere. Yep. Put it down just a smidge. Perfect. Perfect, 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 perfect. Look like there might have been a stone right there, but I'll check the template here in a sec. All right, so let's go to press it. All right. Let's go to press it. Come on, Tilly, do your thing. Do your thug thizzle. Let's make sure that we go. Make sure it still stays lined up. Well, hold on. Let's slide this back over into the heat so that we make sure it all gets pressed at one time. Because I pressed one of the cuties earlier and the, his head, the top of his head was hanging out from the press a little itty bitty bit. And I didn't realize it was on the edge. And so he didn't press. I had to press him again. All right. So here we go. Our bag is done. Right on time. I think because I can't see the clock. You ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? All righty. Ooh, pretty. OMG. Look at there. Look at there. Look at there. That stupid stone slid when I put it on the uh, thing. I'm going to pick that out and fix it. Otherwise, it's beautiful. Look, her pretty pink lip is, is looking looking cute. Let me pop this off while it's still a little bit warm. Is it going to not give up? It ain't going to give up its spot. Look at there. Look at there. I'm going to have to put it back on the press for a sec. But anyways, what? look, that one stone that was right there where the lint was, it jumped over and sat right there to make it look like a number five on the dice. But at any rate, probably could have lined this up better. But there's our stones. Let's bring it down so that you can see it a little bit better with the bling. There's olivine, there's topaz, there's coffee, and the one coffee acting up right there because it's a jerk. And then the outline and her hair is smoke topaz, and her lips are ro rose. I started to say light rose, but it's rose. So yeah, I love the browns and the camo look. That's real cute. Let me press this again and get that stone off of there so that we can move it and then put it where it's supposed to be or get another one and put it where it's supposed to be. And then we'll do the, uh, you know, the stream yard giveaway thingamabobby. We're going to do that. Make our lives easier because that's not super difficult to do. So all I'm doing is pressing it again to loosen that glue and it popped right off. I wish I could have showed you that. It popped right on off there. And I'm going to put this stone where it was, the other one was supposed to be. And then I'm going to give it another press. All right. 
and then we'll be done. This time I didn't put anything over the top of it. It was no need. It's just bare stones touching the top of the heat press to get it to go back in place. And I'm just going to hold it and show it to you where we, whoops, hot, where we fixed it on that E. Much better, much, much, much better. So let us go over to the chair where the other bags are. And let's talk about terms for doing the giveaway of the bags. All right. So what we are going to do is we are going to do the StreamYard giveaway. So you know that little spinny thing. All right. And so we have three bags. I have this one, which is, y'all look, look. Oh, my God. You know what? I'm going to show it to you right away here in a minute. But I'm just going to show it to you like this right now. So that's the brown um, smoke topaz oh, for the outline and her hair. And then we got topaz. Then we got olivine. And then we have coffee. Beautiful, beautiful colors. And then rose for her lips. It turned out super, super dope because Patrice just did her thing. All right. And then the project I really wanted to do with y'all tonight, well, wasn't able to, which is fine. I totally get it. Um maybe eventually you guys will be able to do it too. This is the uh, cricket little cutie bug thing. One bag. This one is neon green with uh, white opal eyes and the jet hematite in the, in the center. And then with this one, he is a oh, uh, peridot with a emerald outline. And then his eyes are white, neon white. And then the pupils are jet black. All right. So, you know you want an SS6 bag, girl. You know you want that SS6 bag. Where's my thingamabobby? So, what we're going to do is we are going to spin the wheel thing for StreamYard. All right. And then I'm going to show you. Oh, and going back to this, this isn't a part of the giveaway. But this is the shirt someone asked earlier. This is uh, green, uh, or gold orange AB. This is topaz at the top, and the outline is jet hematite. That's the colors on my shirt. And we did this one Friday night. This one, and we did this one too. No, we didn't. No, my daughter came and she took it. It was the uh. It was this same shirt, I think, and we did it in the opal colors. Yeah, it was. It was um, white opal going to, no, it was icicles going down to pink opal. And for the life of me right now, I can't remember what the outside trim was. But anyway, it was really pretty. And she came, she was like, oh, whose shirt is this? Yours, I guess. And she was like, okay, and took it. All right, so let's go stream your giveaway. S T R E A M. There we go. Bloop. And we are going to do this one. We are going to do this. And we are going to share screen so that you can see. Booyah. All right. So here's the giveaway tool. So you see that the word, oh, the shirt hanging up. That's my daughter's shirt, my other daughter's shirt with the pro and procrastinate that has all that has violet ice for the outside. It has tanzanite at the top and the new violet volcano at the bottom. And I'll show you that shirt too before we leave out tonight. Um, but cutie, C U T I E, if you do cutie, if you do cutie, then we will start the giveaway for the neon green cutie, okay? So cutie. My rib jacket is in the room. It's in the room, ma'am. I don't have it in here. I had it on earlier, and y'all, when I tell you I was hot, Mr. McQuacken said, turn the heat on, and it was, it was a wrap.
money group he said he said to do tape melted stones didn't stick etc watch the trees Marilyn heard what they used in first what who was having issues with a shirt and the rhinestones that's horrible we'll talk about that after the after the thing So yeah, you definitely have to use the right hot heat transfer tape because otherwise it won't work. Um, why is it saying 15 injuries? I know that's a lie. Um, but yeah, you have to use hot fix transfer tape rather because anything else will melt. And then for your stones, you have to make sure the heat isn't too hot either uh, because too much heat will cause them to... Um, stay stuck to the transfer tape so it's a it's a delicate balance um when doing the rhinestones but as long as the correct directions are followed then you shouldn't have any issues bling a shirt okay is it hashtag cutie because they was like if you put in cutie put hashtag cutie too please because uh I don't know why StreamYard was like hashtag and the word, but it did say that. And I don't remember having to do that. So do hashtag cutie. And I'm going to give it a little bit longer so that y'all can um, make sure that you, you're you in the giveaway. I don't want it to. Yeah, see, that's counting better. I'm going to try and make sure not to put the hashtag next time. But this is for the neon Oh, and please, this is not for outside of the United States. I hate to do that, but because of the customs and tariffs and trying to figure out the tariff codes and custom codes and all that jazz, I ain't, I don't, I don't have the patience right now, not for a giveaway. And it's going to cost me an arm and a leg to ship it out of the country for an item that's free. So this is for U.S. residents only. I apologize if you win and you're out of the U.S., but that's just, I, I have to. I have to. And I can't charge you for the shipping. So from what I understand. So no, I'm just, it has to be U.S. residents only. Um, and please, if you don't send me your address right away, like if I don't get your address by tomorrow at 5 p.m., my bad, okay? Because I've had folks send me messages like months after a giveaway and I'm like, fam, first of all, I got to look up what you even talking about because I'm doing good to remember who I am when I wake up every morning so to try and remember who I said I was going to give something to it's just, it's just not going to work like that so tomorrow between tonight and tomorrow I need your, your mailing address okay even if you have bought from me before because that don't mean I got your address and I know where it's at because I don't know my own address I don't know my own address so I need your address. Okay. Help me out. Help a helper out. Help me out. But this is for the neon cutie bag. You're welcome to have it. Hashtag cutie. And we're about to roll. All right. So we've got 103 entries for it. Like I said, please, for the love of everything holy, send me your email address. I mean, your mailing address, please, please. So I can get this out. I, I struggle enough as it is. All right. Let's draw. Bloom. Holler. Let's see, we got the bell ready. Who is it going to be for the neon cutie? It is Jayla 71. Woo! Holler. And look, y'all, they even put it in purple. They put it in my color. Holler. Yes, they put it in purple. They lose what's, what's up. Okay, so Jaylove, 71 Jaylove. And I'm going to do this number right here. So I, hopefully I don't forget. Let's do this. Let's do this because I'm I'm gonna do this the smart way. I'm gonna take a picture of the bag with your name up there so that I know. Boom, that was you. Got you. Okay, so we're gonna send this out. Miss McQuackens is here to try his best to help me remember, even though we bout to the point where <laughs> we both be forgetting. Okay, all right. So that's the bug, the one, the cutie, cutie. That's the one cutie. All right, and here's the second one that I did today. Hems is Perido, and he has a emerald outline. Him has a oh, that's right, neon white eyes and the jet black pupils for this particular one. Super, super cute. I struggled with him a little bit. I ain't gonna lie, but it's all right. He was my first attempt, and 
and the tape was fighting me. So at any rate, we're going to do this one and I'm going to do the same thing. Hashtag cutie only because I don't really got time to figure out another word. So we're going to draw again. Go ahead and put hashtag cutie again if you want to. I don't know that it makes a difference, but it still says we got 110 entries. So it's still counting what you did before. So if you want to and you didn't enter before, do hashtag cutie. Okay. So, J Love, please, honey bunny, send me your mailing address. I would prefer you send it tonight. And hang on, let's do this. I'm gonna help, I'm gonna help you out. Bloop. There you go. That's where it needs to go, please. That's the email address. The baby's booty at gmail.com. If you send it anywhere else, I know y'all be y'all be killing me. I'll be like, okay, send it to the baby's booty at gmail.com. And guess what? I get up in in my other email address or in instant messenger i have hey this is my address and i won bam why are you doing me like this i don't i don't like to have to search and hunt i know i just come on y'all i'm getting old i'll be 47 in a couple of in a couple of months i, I just i need help i need i don't told y'all i'm be in a retirement home help me out send it to that email address it, it ain't that hard i promise it's not and I will love you forever for it. I just, just send it to that email address. I appreciate it. All right, let's roll again. Roll again. Cutie, cutie, cutie. Draw again. Who is going to get this super cute peridot? The two bug cutie thing. Him so cute. It's going to be Ann McNiss. Holla! Yas, honey. In purple, yas. I need some of that purple confetti. That's what's up. Okay, so again, here's the uh, cutie bug thing, and it will go out to you, first class, ASAP, as soon as I get your address, please email it to thebabiesbooty at gmail.com that you see down there on the screen. Now, the last bag that we have is for the love Pro bag. This is a Patrice, a craftable things exclusive design because she, you know, sooner or later, she sooner rather, she's going to be such a sought after designer, so hot on the market that we just we're going to be peasants and we're not going to be able to get a hold to her designs as easily, and they'll they'll just be worth millions. So this is a once in a lifetime opportunity to get one of her designs while we're not quite peasant level okay so what i'm going to do is change the word for this bag because we know that let's go back stupid thing we, we need a back button I, can somebody help me remember to uh email them and say can we have a back button please a reset all right so we are going to do the word love l-o-v-e i don't think it has to be in all caps but it's going to be love. You don't have to do the hashtag this time because apparently I don't have to do the hashtag. Why did they have me do hashtag before? Can anybody answer that? Because I don't, I don't, I really don't know. But anyway, that's for this bag. Okay, so just the word love, and it is adorable. Look at those colors, y'all, honey, y'all. This is super, super, super cute. I love it. I hate I'm getting rid of it. Honestly, I really am because I, I, I'm i going to have to make this again. And you know what? That would be dope on this red shirt. It will be real cute. So what time is it? If I'm not up too late, I'm going to make me another one. Oh, it's already at the 11. Oh, my God. Now I'm doing all this talking. All right. 112, 115. Come on. Love, love. You don't have to put the hashtag. Just put the word love. And it will draw your name. We got 118. So if you put the hashtag, don't do it. Just type the word love now so that I don't miss your entry because I want you to win. I definitely want you to win. So we are getting ready to draw for this. You ready? 122 entries. Let's go. Boom. If you wasn't in there, I apologize. It's just, I, I said put it in there. And the winner of the love bag is Shonda Coleman. Holla. Yes, honey. Yes. That's what's up. Congratulations. Please send me your address. You get the a helper is, is older and I'll 
forget, please don't make me have to look and search. So send me your address. I would appreciate it so that Mr. McQuackens can fuss at me and make sure I have these in the mail ASAP. All right. So it was great. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Actually, wait, wait, actually, let's 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 show you how this looks, because that's one of the things I love about our bling. And sometimes folks get in there and they're like, oh, my God, this ain't rare, rare, rare. Look, fam, when you're getting an opportunity. Look, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Listen, listen, Linda, listen, listen, Linda, listen, listen. So I can let y'all go. I, I, I Let me take this down because you need to hear me. You need to hear me out. You need to hear me out. Listen to me. Listen, listen. When you get in a hole to rhinestones that bling like this, okay? You see what I'm saying? Let me, where's my light? My light ain't even in here like it's supposed to be. Let me get my light. Because you you need to see this. This It was blinging in the camera. It really was. But you need to see what I see all the time. Because the camera doesn't give our stones what it needs to. But in certain instances with the correct lighting, sometimes it'll it'll give you a little bit more than what we we see. See, look there. Look, look, look. Come on, fam. Look, look, look at the, you know, I know it's boobs and all, but just just look. Look at the bling. The bling is there. The bling is real. Okay. So when you when you hit it with that light, that allows you to see what we see in person that the camera just won't pick up. But when when you get in bling that's of a quality as our stones are, you have to understand at a wholesale price, come on, fam. We trying to hook you up because a lot of these other places where you can go and get stones, you're not going to get high quality. You're going to get, you know, your basic Korean rhinestones. And that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that because, you know, all stones have some bling to them, but we're trying to give you the best that we can give you at a reasonable cost. Okay. So keep that in mind. This is Violet Volcano and the outline. The top is Tanzanite and it goes down into our new Violet Volcano. That's, did I say this was Violet? Well, this is Violet Ice on the outside. Violet Volcano at the bottom and Tanzanite at the top. That's what this shirt is. This is for my daughter. So I couldn't give that away. But then here's Patrice's bag. Patrice's design, her designer bag. Um, I appreciate her letting me give this away. This one is um, the bag that we're doing tonight. It has the smoke topaz. It has the topaz. It has the olivine. And it has the um, rose for her lips. Smoke topaz and coffee. Told y'all I'm getting old. Y'all think I'm playing. Be forgetting stuff. It ain't fun. All right. And then here is the other cutie. Super cute. Hems is Peridot, emerald on the outline. Neon white for him eyes and jet black for him pupils, which is super cute. You can see the pupils are blinging too, even on the black. And then we have our neon, which I absolutely love. And I don't have my UV light in here, which sucks. But the UV, these are UV reactive. This book will glow in the UV light. And then we have um, white opal for his eyes. Jet hematite, looking real hematite for his irises. All right. So hopefully you guys enjoyed tonight. It was a little bit crazy at the beginning, but we, we, we got what we needed done. Email me here if you won tonight. Please email me here if you won tonight. I don't want to have to start saying if I don't get the email right here, I'm, I just, you just missed out. I don't want to start saying that. Just email me here. And then the outline on this shirt is Jet Hematite. This is Jet Hematite on the shirt that I have on. Oh, you can't see it. Bloop, bloop. There we go. This is Jet Hematite right here. For this, the outline and the lettering on this shirt. I will put the boobs in the camera again, but I, I don't know that y'all all want to see all that. So I'm just going to hold it up right here. Holler is looking cute. Okay. All right, y'all. I appreciate y'all hanging out. Um, Don't forget the buy-in is on. It's on. It's popping. 
no charge to be a part of the buy-in. You just go on the website, find what you want, order it, and wait 30 days, and your package will come to you with some super cute ice boxes with your rhinestones in them, as you saw in the big video at the beginning of our show. All right, so I pre hold on. Oh, and Mr. McCracken is wanting me to remind you, which he's right. Anything over 250, we're signing for packages so that we can avoid issues. Okay, because our packages are quite valuable. You got some some jewels in there and you don't want them sitting, you know, where they'll go anywhere. And then that way, you know, you spend that kind of money. I kind of want you to know where your stuff is, which you get tracking anyway. But to sign for it, you have that peace of mind knowing that they're going to come and hand bring it to you for your signature. That's kind of the route we going with that. So please don't get frustrated if you do have to sign for your package because I want you to have your package and you want you to have your package. So we're going to incorporate signature at our cost, not at your cost, at our cost so that you can get your package. Okay. In a safe and sound manner. So please double check your addresses. And enjoy your bling. All right. So thank y'all for hanging out. I enjoyed it. Y'all have a great night. I look forward to seeing you all again on the next one. And until then, I hope you have happy bling. Y'all have a good night. Bye.